Ooh, creepy. Hi there, everyone. I bet you can guess what book I'm going to read you today. It's one of our all-time favorites, Creepy Carrots. I've got my creepy carrot right here with me today to help me read it. Let's get started. Creepy Carrots. Creepy Carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots grew, and, and the carrots that grew in Crack and Hopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice, and he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots! Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister tunk, tunk, tunk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, they were there. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Crack and Hopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew! Creepy carrots. That was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed, Creepy carrots! In the shed! Mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing, terrible, carroty breathing, and there on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad. His dad thumped into the bedroom and threw on the light. Is it really a creepy carrot? They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son. He said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. He doesn't look tired at all. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Look at some of those things. Are they really creepy carrots? Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and he headed to Kraken Hopper Field. What's he doing? It looks like he's building a fence around Kraken Hopper Field. As the sun finally set across Kraken Hopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tongue, tongue, tongue. There were no carrot shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of the 
Carrot Patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Hopper Field cheered! Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. The end. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the story. I think I'm going to go eat this creepy carrot.